morning. Good morning. Today is Friday, January 8th, 2021. Lower body day today is going to be fire. We're going to warm up with some mobility work with some caustic squats and some hollow holds to light up our core a little bit. And then we're going back to our three sequences of giant sets. Remember, our giant sets are going to be three exercises back to back to back. We're going to be doing two lowers and a core, two lowers and a core, two lowers and a core. And then we're going to be finishing with some heart rate type things at the end of the workout. Main piece number one is going to be eight minutes. Number two is going to be seven minutes. Number three is going to be six minutes. So in those main chunks, once you kind of have the patterns down, I want you to go um, as hard as you can without breaking down your form. So working to your highest level of intensity while keeping it safe. With that being said, let's get into it here, y'all. Let's warm up. I got my Captain America socks on today. I'm feeling good. I got my fun sock Friday happening again. Little choppy feet here. Let's take it forward. Let's take it back. We're going to have a good session today. Come on. Uh-huh. Take it out. Take it in. Take it out. Take it in. Just warming things up a little bit. From here, a little hip turn. A little hip turn. Just nice and light in the feet, nothing crazy. And then let's go into this pattern one more time. Choppy feet, choppy hands. Just moving here a little bit, just moving. Take a little cha-cha, a little forward, a little back. A little forward, a little back. Hey, hey. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Take it out, take it in. Three, two, one. Little hip turn. Four, three, two, one. Coming down to the half knee. Coming down to the half knee, half kneeling flow. Knee is down, opposite foot is in front. Hand is in line with my forward foot. We're pushing out, down, open. Repeat, out, down, open. Switch. We're gonna get into this work today, guys. We are going to get into it. Out, down, open. One more time, out, down, open. Let's go into our 90-90s. 90-90 position here, 90 degree angle with the back, 90 degree angle with the forward leg. Lead your chest out in front, stretch into your back hip pocket. Coming in, coming out of this thing, making sure you're feeling a stretch in that backside glute. Little reach across the forward knee, across the foot side. Uh-huh. And then let's just go ahead and switch up. Similar idea, 90 degree angle with each leg. Chest up, sit back into that back pocket. Reaching across the body, towards the knee, towards the foot. Uh-huh. All right, so coming up, we're only gonna be doing two movements. We're gonna be doing a Cossack squat and a hollow hold. The Cossack squat, you're gonna begin with your stance super wide wide enough so that you should already feel a little stretch in your adductors just in the stationary position feet are flat on the ground toes are pointed dead straight forward your first move is you're going to shove your hips back and then you're going to slide to one side come up to the middle shove your hips back slide to the other side what you don't want to do is just come straight to the side and then go smashing into the front of this knee so i want to hinge back into my hip first and then I want to slide into that thing so that I might have a little bit of forward translation with this knee, but I'm not going way out overboard like this. I'm going back and then I'm sliding. Okay. And then the hollow hold, we're going to be down onto our backsides. We're going to have our arms locked in line with our ears. We're going to elevate our toes and point them. The only thing that's going to be on the ground is like the back top part of our, our glutes and then our low back. Shoulder blades are elevated up off the ground. We're gonna do the Cossack squat for 30 seconds. We're gonna do the hollow hold for 20 seconds. We're gonna do four rounds of each. All right, so 30, 20s, four rounds of each. Let's work hard, let's have some fun. We're gonna start with the Cossack squat. So the Cossack squat, I really want you focusing on creating mobi mobility, working onto this this big kind of frontal plane movement. Ready, ready? Here we go, I'm sliding back. I'm sitting into one side, I'm coming up. I'm shoving my hips back, I'm sliding to the other side. I wanna find that end range. 
I really want to work on seeing how low I can go. And then once you got just this position, what you want to work on doing is really dropping low into it. That's a little bit more advanced. So I'm going back, I'm sliding, and then I'm going to let my toe come up off the ground. Oh, all right, let's take it down to the ground. Hollow holds. So hollow holds, I'm going to start with my toes pointed away. My arms are going to be reaching so that my arms are in line with my ears. Here we go. Oh, I got to set my clock up. I'm using my iPad so I can see what time it is. Don't worry. 10 seconds here, guys. Lock in. Stay tight. Ooh, good stuff. Good stuff. Let's go bust our clock up here. Da -da 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 -da. All right, there we go. Three, two, going back to our Cossacks. Hinge and back, sliding to one side, feeling that stretch, seeing how low you can go, get up to the middle, and then we'll take it to the other side. We're not worried about how many reps we can go on this, this one today here. What I want you to focus on more is quality of movement, creating a really big stretch, working on that bottom position. So seeing what kind of stretch you can get out of your groin while, by also making sure that heel stays on the ground. All right. And then when we do our hollow holds, it's just trying to stay super, super tight through our core, locking our arms so they're in line with our ears, pointing our toes. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to take shallow breaths in through my nose, out through my, my mouth, and focus on filling that, my belly with air. <laughs> Woohoo! Man, those sneak up on me. I get into them. Oh. Oh, all right. We're halfway through our little warmer upper here. This is going to be a rather quick warm up because I got a lot of work I want to get into today. All right, stance is wide. Hips go back, slide, open up through the groin, and then sit into that thing. Oh, Sit into it, get down there, make sure the side that you're working towards, that heel stays on the ground. The opposite toe can come off, that's okay. But whatever side you're shifting to, that whole foot should stay flat on the ground. Whew. Whew. Baby, coming back down, hollow hold, hollow hold. Number three, push your lower back into the ground, arms in line with your ears, toe point. Here we go. Low back stays pressed into the ground. Shallow, quick breathing. As you exhale, you squeeze your abs even tighter. Whoo! All right, good thing is we only have one more of those. That's the good thing. <laughs> the bad thing is we have a whole <laughs> workout to get through. <laughs> All right, Cossack squat, stances wide. Ah, last time we're doing this, hips come back, slide, sink into it. Oh, feel the stretch. Come up, slide the hips back, sink, stretch, come back up. Hips back, slide. Whoo! All right, shake it out one more time with our hollow hold. If you were doing those right, you should have created some really great stretches through the groin, to the adductors. That's gonna set you up for a great workout this morning. And then we're using this hollow hold here to really light up our core so that when we go into these lower body movements today, you know how to actively recruit your core 
because we kind of turned it on a little bit. Oh, hold it tight, hold it tight. Five seconds. Whoo, excellent, excellent. All right, <clears throat> I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run through all nine exercises of the full main sequence. We're only gonna be doing three exercises at a time, but we're only gonna have a minute and a half between sets to get to them. So we're gonna do the first three for eight minutes, the second three for seven minutes, the last three for six minutes. So it's going eight, seven, six, with a minute and a half rest in between. The first three exercises, this is our first sequence. It's going to be a Romanian deadlift. So kettlebells, dumbbells, whatever you got, stances and air, you're hinging back. You guys know these. Making sure you're feeling this in your hamstrings. Not cheating with the, with, the, uh, with the back here. Our second one, we're gonna have our weight up in our sumo stance, one and a half sumos. So we're going all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. All the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. Our third one is gonna be a Spider-Man crunch. High plank position, knee comes to the outside elbow, lean into it, lean into it, lean into it. All right, that first sequence is gonna be everything for eight reps. All right, so that's gonna be our first three. Now, each set, I'll definitely go through all three again. I just want to give you a little preview of all of them first. <clears throat> our second three, we're going to be doing a single arm or a two-hand swing. If you're doing a single arm swing, it's gonna be 10 reps per arm. If you don't like the single arm swing, you're gonna go a two-hand swing for 20. So you're doing a total of 20, either 10 right, 10 left, or 20 two-handers. Then we're gonna do a little calf raise. So I got a little block here that I'm gonna rest the balls of my foot up onto, and I'm gonna go into a calf raise. If you don't have anything to elevate your foot up on, that's fine. You're just gonna kinda of use the wall or whatever, balance, and you're just gonna be doing a little <clears throat> calf raise just from the ground. <clears throat> Our last one there, we're gonna be doing a, a lateral squat walk. So you're gonna take your weight, you're gonna squat down, and take a step, take a step. Whatever space you have is fine. You're gonna be doing um, totals of 10. So I'm gonna go five to one side, five to the other. All right, so that's our second three. And then our last three, you're gonna use a band. So we're gonna do some banded bridging. So the, the band is gonna go around my knees. So I'm gonna slip it up and around. It's gonna be somewhere around here. I'm gonna open up my stance, I'm gonna bridge up. What I'm not going to do is allow my knees to move. So I'm going to go from this angle here. I don't want my legs going apart. I don't want them coming together. All I want to focus on is maintaining tension that entire set. So outside tension the whole time. This next one here for number three, you can use your stability ball. I'm going to be using my suspension straps here and we're gonna go into a little hamstring curl. So you're gonna put your heels on something. Hopefully you got a ball. If you don't, I'll give you one more, more alternative. I'm gonna use my straps here. And what I'm gonna be doing is elevating my hips and then curling in like that. If you don't have one of these, you can do a hamstring walkout. You'll just go here, you'll bridge, you'll walk out, walk in. So you get to choose. And then the last one for series three, it's gonna be a forearm plank with a little rotational hip tap. So that means you're gonna be on your forearms, knees are gonna be bent, and you're gonna roll from side to side, like this. All right, I know that's a little long-winded, but um, I just wanted you to be able to see all of those uh, movements, okay? So, <clears throat> coming up next, we're gonna start with our first three. So it's gonna be the Romanian deadlift, the sumo one and a half squat, and that Spider-Man crunch. We're doing these three exercises for the next eight minutes. All righty. All right, let's work hard. Let's have some fun. So sets of eight here. First one, Romanian deadlift. Take your stance, rather narrow, hinge back, stand up tall, little booty squeeze. Thanks. 
everything is for eight here. After eight of those, I'm gonna bring my bell up into the goblet position. I'm gonna take my stance nice and wide. Sumo, one and a half. So I'm gonna come all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up eight times. And then our last one here is gonna be our Spider-Man crunch. So we're gonna be in that high plank position and I'm gonna drive my knee to my same side elbow. And as I do that, I'm gonna fan my hip open and lean my shoulder towards my knee. So I'm gonna open my hip, drive my knee to the outside of my elbow. Eight per side. Ah, all right. After we finish that, we're just going to go back to the top. So that took about two minutes. Let's see how many we can get in. Romanian deadlift coming up for eight. Let's go to work. Make sure you're feeling your hamstrings on the way down. When I lower these weights, I'm angling them right over the top of my toenails. I'm pushing my hips behind myself. I wanna feel a good stretch in the back of my legs. I'm gonna finish at the top with a little glute squeeze. All right, after eight of those, bell is coming up, stance is coming open, sumo one and a halfs. Drive your knees out. Notice my shins don't pitch forward this way. I'm trying to keep my shins rather vertical. Looking good, coming back down to our spiders. High plank, lean into it. Knee comes outside the elbow. Come on, we got this y'all, let's go. All right. Right on pace here, right on pace. I'm gonna to try to stay with this, this two minute per round pace here. We can come right back to it. Eight reps, remaining deadlift. Let's go to work. <sighs> Booty squeeze to the top of the rep. <sighs> Hinge and back, core stays tight. Stance is open, chest is up, push out. Imagine there's like a crack on the floor directly between your feet. You're trying to use your feet to split that crack open by pushing outwards. All right, all right. Back down to our spiders. Lean into it, squeeze your abs as the knee comes in. Ha. Eight. 
Yes, good work, guys. Remember, it's only eight. So everything is a multiple of eight. Eight RDLs, eight sumo one and a half, eight per side of the spider crunch. All right, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of rest. We're gonna knock out this final round in 10 seconds here. All right, grab your weights, chest up, good posture. Stance is rather narrow, hinge back. Find your hamstrings. Glute squeeze at the top. Yes. Oh, I might have done one extra. <laughs> All right, sumo is coming up. Bell is up, stance is wide. Legs go out, all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, all the way up. One. All right, let that just chill for a second. And we're gonna hit one more good set of these Spider-Man crunches, if you're working with me. If you're going a little faster, be my guest. Blow right ahead. All right, let's go. Let's do this, crew. Eight aside, lean into it, squeeze. I'm just gonna chill out here for a few seconds. So if you were working with me, we did four sets there in that first eight minute block. That's really good. That's really good. We're gonna take a minute and a half off here. And coming up, we're, we're gonna be doing some single arm swings. So you can either go single arm swing, 10 on the right, 10 on the left, or you can go 20 two hand swings. So your call. You just gotta get a total of 20, whether it be 10 on the right, 10 on the left, or 20 doubles. Your second one is gonna be the calf raise. The calf raise, again, we're sticking with 10. So if you have something to kind of stand up onto, I'm also kind of using something for some balance here. So if you got a wall, a high couch, something you can put your hand onto, we're gonna do 10 calf raises per leg. All right, so multiples of 10 again. And then our last one here is gonna be the lateral squat walk. So I'm just gonna move my Bench out of the way here. On our lateral squat walk, again, it's a multiple of 10. So what we wanna do is start on one side and you can either hold the bell high or down. You're gonna squat and step, squat and step. Ideally, you'll be able to go five paces in one direction and then five paces back in the opposite direction. Alrighty, so we're gonna get started in about 15 seconds here two hand swing or single arm swing. Total of 20 reps, calf raise 10 per side, and then lateral squat walk, 10 total, five going each direction. Ready, ready, single arm swing. Here we go. <laughs> 10 per side. All right, that's gonna get the heart rate up. Nice thing is, this calf raise is gonna give us a chance to get our heart rate back down. 10 per side. Drive to the balls of your feet, squeeze that calf hard at the top. Ah, 
I do such little calf work and it probably shows. Number one, my calves aren't very big. <laughs> Number two, this is hard. <laughs> ah, all right. And then once we finish our calf work, we're gonna hold our bell either high or low. Uh-oh, lost my little mic here. Hopefully we're still good. Looks like it. All right, and then we're gonna go five in each direction. So my stance is probably just outside hip width, squatting and stepping. Two, we're doing 10 total. Three, four, five, back the other way. One, two, three, four, five. All right. One round down, take a little more than two minutes, which is fine. My goal for us here is getting three good quality sets in. All right, three quality sets. Here we go. Swings in three, two, one, tens. back to my raises. I'm going to do my left side first this time. Let's go. 10 reps. Little pause at the top of the rep. This will be another exercise. If you have a stair you can access, right? So just letting your heel drop on the edge of the stair, driving up on the balls of your feet, squeezing the calf at the top of the rep. From there, you can hold on to the railing. 10 reps. Ah, all right. Lateral squat walk coming up. Lateral squat walk coming up. Here we go. Ah, yes. All right, we're gonna take 20. We're gonna go again at the 220 if you're working with me. Ah, hit our final round in here. Whoo! All right, heart rate's coming up a little bit. Let's be explosive on these swings. Snap to the quads, squeeze the glutes, hard exhale through the abdominals. 10 reps, let's go. Raisies. Raisy daisy. <sighs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, feel the burn. Squeeze at the top. side come on guys we don't do that much calf work so when we do you got to get after it 
You got to make the most out of these things. <laughs> ah, excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, stay with me now. Five lateral squat walks. Let's finish up the second piece. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. So, coming up next, we have our banded bridge for 15, our stability ball or our suspense, suspension strap curl or the hamstring walkout, and then those rotational plank taps. If you got the band, the band is going around the knees, stances wide enough that you feel your glutes without even letting your legs go out and in. All right, so we have the bridge with the band. You got the stability ball or the suspension curl. And then we're going to be doing those rotational plank taps with our knees bent, rolling from side to side. And that's going to be for eight a side. You can never just go one less. You got to go one more to make it even. So 15 with the bridge, 15 with that curl, and then eight per side with that... Um, rotational plank. So I'm going to set up here. I'm going to get this band up and around my knees. I want to find a little bit of tension here. So I'm going to take the band right across my patellar tendons or your kneecaps. All right, from here, I'm going to open up my stance until I feel a little bit of tension onto the band. From this position here, I'm going to flatten my low back into the ground. Abs are staying nice and tight. All right, we're not gonna let our knees collapse in. We're not gonna shove them out. We're just gonna keep them parallel with each other the entire set. All right, we're doing 15 reps. We're on the clock. One, here we go. Good glute squeeze at the top, toes off the ground. All right, after I finish that, I'm gonna quickly get this off. I'm gonna set up with my stability ball or my suspension straps here. If I'm using the straps, I'm gonna scooch in. I'm gonna put my heels into the stirrups. Similar to our bridge, I'm gonna flatten my back, elevate my hips, pull my heels towards my butt. Remember, if you don't have access to a ball or to these, you're gonna begin in a bridge, you're gonna elevate, and then you're gonna do a hamstring walkout, like this, where you're walking in, walking out. If you're doing the, gonna do the hamstring walkout, probably around eight to 10 reps. 15 will probably be, be a little bit too many. All right, so, our last one here, we're going to be in that plank position and we're going to be doing that rolling plank. So the knees need to be bent about 90 degrees and we're thinking about tapping our side pocket to the floor with each rep. We're going to be doing eight reps per side. So knees are bent, rolling to the right, rolling to the left. Oh yeah, and then we're back to the top. So that set took us just a little longer than, uh, than two minutes here. Let's see if we can go a little faster on this set. Maybe we can sneak in three, three rounds. All right, let's go to work. Ha ha! 
15. Moving on, moving on. Transitions need to be quick. So moving from our banded bridges into our hamstring work. Set yourself up, get into it. Rotational plank. Eight per side. All right, we caught up. We caught up. Come on. Right into it. Bridging. Bridging with the band. Come on, y'all. We got this. It's Friday. We're working today. We're working today. We're bettering ourselves today, right now. We're getting stronger right now. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, moving on. Bridge work, done. Hamstring work, let's go. Whew. Get my heels up in there. I'm setting up with my heels kind of directly under the anchor, if you're using suspension. Low back pressing into the ground, abs tight. Elevate up and go. finish this thing we got 35 seconds eight per side rotational plank Strings. Man, I've been pushing like that in a while. All right, guys, coming up next. Coming up next. Finisher. Three rounds, four exercises. We're hitting some side planks and then some little squat hop combinations. All right, so your first squat hop is going to be a wide and a narrow squat hop. So your stance is going to be wide, and you're going to pop to narrow. That's the first one. Then we're going to come down, we're going to hold a side plank on the right side for 20 seconds. Then we're going to get up, and you're going to put yourself in a split position. So one foot in front of the other. You're going to dip down, you're going to switch legs. You're going to be doing a split, shallow squat, jump. 20 seconds, and then we'll go side plank on the ground on the opposite side. Wide, narrow, right side plank. Forward and back, split jump, left side plank, three rounds. <sighs> Come on, this is the last thing we're doing this week. You know what to do. Work hard, have fun. Let's go. All right, wide and arrows. On the clock in 10 seconds. Come on. <sighs> Two, one, here we go. We're squatting on the wide, we're squatting on the narrow. Find some rhythm here. 
You don't need to jump that high, but you do need to jump. After this, we're coming down to the ground. Whoo! Side plank coming up. I'm gonna go right forearm down. My left leg is gonna be in front of my body. Left leg is in front. I'm gonna squeeze my bottom oblique. I'm gonna rotate just slightly towards the ground. I'm gonna push my forearm into the floor. Breathe in through my nose, out through my mouth. We're going back up onto our feet after the set. Good, up onto our feet. This time we're gonna have one foot in front of the other in a split stance. It doesn't need to be a giant lunge, just one foot in front of the other. Dip down, hop and switch. Left side, side plank. Left side, side plank. Forearm is down. Top leg is in front. Fist to the ceiling. Here we go. Push that fist into the ground. Rotate slightly towards the floor. Squeeze this bottom oblique right in here. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. We did it. We did one set. We're gonna do two more. Whoo! Take a couple breaths. We're gonna get back into this thing. We're gonna get back into this thing. Wide narrows coming up, and then our side planks. Wide narrows. Stance is open. Ready? Here we go. Right side, side plank coming at you. Forearm down, left leg in front, lock out tight. Get to it, get to it, get to it. Come on. On these, the transition period is short. So you almost wanna think about moving from one exercise right to the next. Two, one, so. Get yourself set up. Then once you're set up, think about just getting into it. Ready? Here we go. When I'm doing this one right here, I'm focusing on my forward leg, pushing into the ground. So my front leg is my working side here. Oh, left side, side plank. Yes, set up, top leg is in front, get into it. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Thinking about how tight you can squeeze that lower oblique. Five seconds. Yes. All right, two rounds down. Two rounds down, one to go. Two rounds down, one to go. Ah. <laughs> Wide narrow squats. Come on. Come on, come on. Ready? Let's go.
Right side, side plank. Right side, side plank. Right to it. Hold it, seven seconds. Yes, two to go. Final two to go. Woo, get a little sweat going for sure. Split stance, one in front of the other. Side side plank. Ah. Squeeze hard. Focus. Think about how tight you can squeeze that oblique. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. couple of stretches here. We're going to start with the bellies. You guys know I like these. Rest your forehead on your forearm. Take a couple of breaths into your belly. Once you got that breathing down, hands coming outside, your shoulders in your face, take a big breath in. Push yourself up. Nothing should be pinching your back here. Exhale and come down. Big breath in. From here, guys, sit back, little child's pose. And then I like to go a little bit to either side. Coming out of child's pose into cat cow. Mobilizing our spine a little bit. And then from here, our half kneeling flow, just like we started. Leg is up, we're gonna push out, down, open. Repeat, out, down, open. And then we'll switch. Same idea, out. Down, open. One more time. Out, down, open. Ah. 